Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your presentations, use Print Preview to see how your presentation will actually print on paper prior to actually printing it. To view your currently open presentation in Print Preview, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Print command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options. To the right of those options, you will see the print preview of your selected presentation slide. Note that there are two buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the Backstage view at this point. You can click and drag the zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the print preview slide displayed. You can also click the Zoom to Page button to display one full slide. If you are printing multiple slides, you can click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the print preview to scroll through the slides that will print. You can also click directly into the number box and type the slide number of the slide you would like to display in the print preview and then press the enter key on your keyboard to show it on screen. After you have previewed your presentation, you can set any additional printing settings in the same area within the backstage view. In the print section, enter the number of copies you would like to print into the copies spinner box, or click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the printer section, use the drop down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the presentation. In the settings section, use the first drop down to select what you want to print within your presentation. You can select either to print all sli slides, print selection, print current slide, or a custom range. Note that you can enter the number of slides to print into the slides text box if you select the custom range choice. Slide range can be sequential, such as 1 through 8, non-sequential, such as 1, 5, and 7, or a combination of both, such as 1 through 3 and 8. Separate sequential slide ranges with a hyphen and non-sequential slide ranges with a comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon at the right of the text box, you can see examples of how to enter custom slide range references. The next drop-down allows you to choose what to print. You can select to print the slides, the notes page view, the outline view, or one of the many handout layouts that are available. You can use the next drop-down to choose either collated to have a collated printout, or you can select uncollated to have an uncollated printout. The last drop-down allows you to select whether you want to print color, grayscale, or pure black and white slides. Simply make your choice from this drop-down. When you are done choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.